Hi, this is Brian Walt at GitLab, and today I'm going to walk through a feature request that I had submitted to enhance the work in progress mode of a merge request. So today, the work in progress mode, which is denoted by having this whip tag in front of the title, prevents the ability to have a merge, external merge or merge into uh, the, the target branch until this work in progress mode has been resolved. This provides a developer a sandbox area where they can very quickly pick up an issue and start working on the, the merge request before even writing any code, which means that as they submit new commits, they're able to see real-time feedback from the CI pipeline on the code that they're working on uh, inside this, this merge request. So this is very valuable for development teams uh, in general because it, one, allows the developers to know, you know what features or issues are currently being worked on um, but are not quite ready for review yet, but also provides that space for um, you, know, you, you to work through an issue uh, um, without having to do everything on a local environment. Now, to enhance that, let's take, for example, this merge request I have up here, which is currently in work in progress mode. This, this merge request is to resolve a 500 errors with the API endpoint, the user's API endpoint. And I can see that as I've, I've committed my first uh, commit, that it indeed does fail the API validation test. Now, this job does happen pretty early on in the process, but I have all these other jobs that are part of this, this uh, branch's pipeline that I don't necessarily need to resolve this, this particular issue. So to avoid having to wait uh, for all of these jobs to complete before I can get my results, it would be very valuable if I could just selectively choose which jobs that I need to have for uh, me to validate this, this issue and start to work through it much quicker. So the idea is what I'm calling a working session. And what working session does is allows you to select individual jobs as part of the default pipeline that comes from your GitLab CI YAML file um, and, and modify those without actually having to modify the, the YAML file inside code. So when I click this working session on the pipelines dashboard, I'm seeing all of those jobs that are predefined in that YAML file showing up here. And you can see that by default, they're all, all turned on. Well, for my particular use case here, I only really need uh, to, to get through this API validation test and, and maybe make sure that my code quality is up to standards with that as well. So I can go ahead and turn off all of these other jobs that are not necessarily relevant to what I'm doing as part of this particular feature enhancement or, or bug fix rather. So once I've turned off all these other jobs and I enable the work in progress pipeline, you can see immediately that it kicks off a new pipeline, but this pipeline only consists of those jobs that I have defined in the working session itself. So what this allows me to do as a developer is resolve this particular issue without having to wait or waste resources and runners um, performing against jobs that are not necessarily relevant to the work that I'm trying to do in this particular case. And when I'm done with that feature, I need to get all those pipelines back in, make sure that actual the full pipeline runs. So I can simply do that by resolving the work in progress status, which will revert this back, or resetting this pipeline will also revert that uh, pipeline back to its original state. 